Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is New Year's Day. Um, it is January 1st, 2023. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, let's see, did anybody make any resolutions? I did not this year. Um, I typically don't have great luck with them anyway, so I didn't do any. And plus, we were all kind of sick, so um, we didn't really do a whole lot for New Year. Um, so with that, um, for those of you that don't know me, again, I'm Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. Uh, soon to be Whatnot as well. I do have my first Whatnot show coming up on Tuesday the 3rd at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you guys can, I really, really hope that you can join me. Um, so what I've got today is I do have a fun box unboxing for you, um, but I also, I scored this fly ass Patricia Nash bag on Whatnot and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I've been really, really debating hard about keeping her or selling her. Um, I think I'm gonna sell her. I think I'm gonna list her on Poshmark today. But this is the Pat Patricia Nash bag that I scored on Whatnot. Um, this, she is crossbody. She's got studs on, on the strap. Now, she is missing one stud down here, but as I was looking at the bag, on the back side, you've got the long strap that covers all these studs, so you could easily go to, the, go to a cobbler, or even, well, I looked to see if it, would, if it twisted off to see if I could do it myself, and I can't. But anyway, look how gorgeous this bag is. And inside, it's got all kinds of little pockets and zipper thingies. And you know how Patricia Nash feels on the inside. It is so luxurious. Um, I mean, this bag is absolutely gorgeous. And um, she also comes with her dust bag, too. So I am going to work on getting her listed. Um, if anybody's interested in her, let me know. Hit me up an email. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I love that Patricia Nash. I had to share it with you guys. So as you can see, I am still coughing. We ended up having, um, Zach and I tested positive for influenza A. So it was not COVID for us, thank goodness. Um, but it was really weird because, so my ex-husband got COVID and kind of exposed all of us. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my light here. Um, kind of exposed all of us to COVID. So when we went to the doctors with our symptoms and told, you know, said we'd been ex <coughs> exposed. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, when we told the doctor we had been exposed, they said, well, you probably have it. Took us three days to get our test results back, and we found out that we were negative for COVID, negative for RSV, but positive for influenza A. So half, it's really weird because everybody that we were around Christmas Eve ended up sick. Half with, with the flu, half with COVID. So anyway, I'm glad that we, ex we um, escaped the COVID bug because, um, I mean, I have this lingering cough still, but I'm starting to feel a little bit more human, you know? And I know my brother and sister-in-law that have co that tested positive for COVID are still um, down in the bed. So um, <clears throat> I'm grateful that it was only the flu. With that, let me get on with this box. This is a fun box. It came from Phoenix, Arizona, and I knew I should have grabbed myself something to drink because I can't holler for mom. She's napping. So this box I ordered on December 22nd, and just so you know, I do have some fun, box, fun boxes um, that I'm going to be doing for you guys but I'm not gonna be ordering anything for a while. I have to do a full-on inventory for my bookkeeper of all the crap that I already have. So 
I can't buy anything else until I have all this stuff accounted for. Yay, tax time. Yay, being a small business owner. So, here is a first look at the box. And I see something in a that's gift wrapped. Sweet and V. Well, it's in a box, not really gift wrapped. Um, oh, I don't, I have no idea what, I have no, you guys, I have no idea what this might be. All I know is, is it is jeweled and it has ribbon. Um, Okay, this little card here just says scan the thing. So I guess I'm going to have to like look this up to even see what in the world this would be. I mean, oh, I wonder if this is like a belt. I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Help, help a girl out. Um, otherwise, I'll just look it up and see. Okay. Just because it's in a pretty box doesn't mean it's some good. Okay, right here we have a size 7-8, new with tag, stars above slippers, which have a $10 retail price. So, oh, they're so soft though. These are mine and mom's size. Um, so for that, one of us will probably just end up keeping those. And we have this new with tag little... Um, Coco, Coco tree hat. It's a kid's hat. Um, and I don't know. I mean, do, I ever, do we have a retail price on here? No, we do not have a retail price on here. So, um, no idea, but I will be sure to get it listed. It's cute as hell. So, and if it's not, really worth anything you know I got nephews maybe one of them would want to wear it so okay next up I have this cream scarf and it's by Lauren Conrad polyester recycled polyester and rayon um you know what this is really really pretty I don't think Lauren Conrad sells for a whole lot, but you know what? Something like this is always a nice piece to have. I mean, throw it in your car. You got a little blanket, if you know, a little shoulder wrap. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm not mad about that. Okay. Next up, we have this. You know, I feel like I'm probably far away from you guys. Okay, so this is just a New Day um, wallet. Nothing big. And we have some smart wool socks in a size medium. Those will definitely get listed. Those do really, really well. It's getting better, you guys. Um, well, it was. Now we've got these fashion glasses. Absolutely zero markings on them. So yeah, I don't know what I, I don't know what I'll do with these. Um, okay, we have oh Apple Watch Sports Band White, thirty eight millimeter. Ooh, it's got a forty nine dollar price tag on it. So, yep, this is, I'm sure, listable. Um, let's see. Do I want to, do I want to try to slide it out? Oh, yep. Actually, and it is in there. So, okay, so this is, this is awesome. I 
I will take that. Thank you very much. And next up, we have this Vera Bradley pocket mirror. It is brand new in the packaging. $20 price tag. So there you go. And definitely, definitely list that. Super listable and very easy to list, which is what I like. Okay. Then we have this. Oh, gosh. This is a Vera Bradley four-piece cosmetic set. Do we have a retail on you? Holy shit, $70 retail. And all four pieces are here and it is brand new with tags. Oh my gosh. Um, toothbrush holder. Let's see. Okay, I was just looking to see if any of these had like um the little little bottles but no i guess it would list that on the on the thing but this is awesome what a great box and this is from arizona gosh okay and then we have ralph lauren pajamas in a size medium now, they do have a Marshalls tag on them, but they also have the regular tag with a $78 retail price. So, there is the top. And we'll make sure the matching bottom has the same size. Yep. Matching bottom is the same size. So two piece kind of, they kind of feel like a light flannel um, with some red trim. Super cute. Definitely, definitely listable. Um, my size, I may try them on and see if I like them, but I'll probably end up listing them because mom bought me Four new pairs of pajamas from Victoria's Secret, so I'm good with pajamas. So anyway, let's count up. I'm just going to count this as one since it's, it's, it is a two-piece set. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, gosh. So that's one. Two with the Vera Bradley travel set. Three with the pocket mirror. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So, um, eleven pieces. They weren't all great, but you know what? The ones that were good were damn good. So, am I happy with this box? Absolutely. I can definitely make my money back, turn a profit, donate a few pieces that I can't use. Um, and who knows, maybe I might decide to keep those uh, Ralph Lauren pajamas. But anyway, so that was my box. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to have more content. I am shooting for Friday to, to get back on my, you know, fun box Friday schedule. But with my whatnot show um, on Tuesday, I don't know. Because I've been busting my ass all weekend um, getting ready for that. Cleaning bags. Making sure everything is up to snuff. Um, so I do. if you guys want a preview of what I'm running, I do have everything listed that I'm running with the exception of a giveaway item. I'm going to do a giveaway at the beginning and I'm going to do a giveaway at the end. And currently I'm running 15 pieces. Um, it's a, it's a mixed bag of pieces. I've got a Burberry trench coat. I've got Burberry heels. 
I've got some beautiful Rachel Zoe suede and snakeskin um, platform boots. And then I've got bags. I've got a Louis Vuitton mango, Vernier, uh, Thompson bag. What else do I have? Um, oh, I have a beautiful, beautiful Miu Miu um, wallet that I rehabbed. And I'm going to show it on, you know, on a chain. And actually, they sell this wallet on a chain a little bit bigger for like over well over a thousand dollars so um i'm starting my Mew Mew wallet at 50 bucks if it gets over a hundred i'm gonna throw in the matching um crossbody chain aftermarket crossbody chain that i'm gonna show with it but anyway with that you guys um i don't know what else i have going on i can't give you any weight loss updates our scale is broken our new one is scheduled to arrive tomorrow. I feel, I had been feeling like I had actually put on a few pounds because with Zach coming home, he likes to eat a little bit differently than what mom and I eat. Um, more meat and potato based. And so I kind of felt like I had put on some weight and then I got sick and didn't eat for several days. So um, yeah, I I don't know where I'm at with that. So um, the last I checked, it was like around 125. And you know, I did tell you guys that I'm trying to get, have that, the next surgery done, the skin removal surgery. So um, I do know that my doctor finally got my letter over to the surgeon. So I just have to follow up on the second letter, make sure it made it. Cause you know, with the medic, with our medical system, we have to advocate for ourselves, which is ridiculous, totally ridiculous. You know, um, but I need to stay on top of this because I want to get it done, A, early in the year, and B, I got to give my work time enough, like enough notice, you know, to pass out my my deals, you know. So um, anyway, with that, you guys, I'm going to go. Happy New Year, and um, I hope to see you guys all at my WhatNot show. If you can't make it, I completely understand, but it is Tuesday night, 6 p.m., um, on whatnot. I am nervous, nervous, nervous. 69 people have my show bookmarked, which if even half that show up, that's like more than what most people normally have in their shows. So I'm jazzed. I'm excited. I hope I can bring it. Anyway, peace.